Hi everyone. <coughs> Sorry. Hard journal page and I'm starting with some watercolors. Now you can use water down acrylics, anything or water uh, soluble sprays. I'm just want to put some uh, puddles of uh, color on my page and that's it. I don't have any other uh, planning right now. So I'm just using this and it's just easier to let watercolors spread out wherever. <laughs> I can also add some water and let it spread wherever. <laughs> not really concerned I'm quite putting it randomly on the page I'm really not an expert on watercolors I'm just playing and whatever goes goes let's see mm. So now some orange color, I'm also letting them in several places mix, I'll probably let uh, this, I'll spray it also so the spread would be better, less straight lines or brush strokes, it looks more organic this way, at least I think so. Like I'm putting here the orange and I have almost a straight line, crisp line and by spraying it I'm letting it go wherever. So I already have a lot of paint here, maybe just a little bit more of this. When they uh, dry they become less... Um, <laughs> lost the words <laughs> they they are not as vibrant as a uh, first put on the page so I'm just adding a little bit and we'll see once it's dry if it needs anything else right now I'm just letting it be I'm not using a heat tool because I don't want a um, drippage I'm just letting it puddle wherever it is. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is dry and I want to add details to the background. I've picked some uh, stamps. This set is from uh, Stamperia. And what I'm going to do is stamp it on uh, the colored areas. I've picked a barn door a distress ink and I want it to be part of the background. I don't want to put something that would uh, be too obvious on the page. I hope <laughs> I've picked the right color. Let's see, putting it here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and I'm switching to the smaller stamp. Again, I'm putting this quite randomly. most of it is gonna get covered just <laughs> prepare yourself to, for this this is just working the background the layers underneath and nothing else mm. 
maybe just one more here. Okay, I like it. Now just one more stamp and let's see where it is. This is something I've picked from the cheap store. Now I've uh, taken, this is seedless preserve. Let's hope it won't be too much on the background, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Whatever will be, will be. Yeah, okay. Now I'm trying to stamp only part of the stamp, so it won't look the same all, all around. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, so I've got all this and now I want to stencil. So here we go. I've got this stencil. I bought it on AliExpress and I'm thinking that maybe this is... I like the movement. I like uh, the type of leaves and everything. I'm just concerned that maybe it's too busy. So, well, whatever will be, will be. I'm going with it. And I think, again, I don't want it to... Uh, it's still part of the background. It's not the main <laughs> thing. So I'm thinking that I need it to be subtle. And I'll just use another ink pad with a brush and hope for the best so this is Momento a Olive Grove and as I said let's hope for the best so I'm taking the ink with this brush and I'm gonna go over like this I'm not sure I'm even going to do the whole stencil because as I said, this is part of the background. Still one more layer to build an interesting background. I'm going to lift it just to see what's going on. And yes, it's working. <clears throat> so. Just going over mainly on the areas that I have the leaves I'm more interested in this movement I have and my stencil is I'm trying to hold it in place <laughs> I'm not succeeding Trying to put pressure on the brush, put pressure uh, when I'm brushing it and holding <laughs> the stencil. I need just a little bit more here and so I'm aligning it again ok 
beautiful. It seems like now I'm going over all the details of the stencil. Okay. I'm not sure that I've picked the right color with this uh, olive green, but I'm going to live with it. <laughs> and I'm going to let it set before I'm uh, continuing to my focal image. I'll be back. I'm back and I've got this <clears throat> lovely heron uh, image that I want to glue to my page. Fussy cut it. And now I want uh, to put some glue and because there are uh, very thin details, I'm going to uh, try and use this uh, Zig pen, adhesive pen. I hope it will work. I'm, it's, I was going to use a glue stick, but I was still afraid that it will drag the paper and so that's what I'm trying to use. Otherwise, I would probably have used my E6000 only because it has a thin uh, nozzle. So I'm just going around the image. Haven't I've bought it a long time ago and haven't used it, so I'm really hoping it will work it works like um, correction fluid you just uh, put some pressure here and it comes out and a little bit pressure on the tip and the adhesives come come out Still a little bit difficult. I'm really hoping this is going to work. putting it here and I hate I think it worked I think it's going to work yay okay so I've got my image first I thought when I was thinking about doing this page I thought about doing a silhouette so I was going to uh, color this whole image with black permanent marker but then uh, before I've done it I've looked at it again and decided that my heroin is going to stay as is now I'm just going to stamp some word words on the page I'm going to use again the same a uh, momenta olive grove just so it will go with the rest of the page I'm thinking here and I'm pushing it and also letting uh, it soak into the paper sometimes I don't let it uh, soak into the paper and then I don't have a nice print good enough and now the only thing I want to do, I really like all these um, leaves, so I'm thinking of stamping a little bit more, but with the olive grove just around the page, like doing, adding and doing some like frame to the page, but only with this. Yeah, something like that. 
and here I'm not concerned about a great print because it's just to frame the page and add a little bit more detail. And I'm thinking this will be it <laughs> for this page. stuff on the table maybe here just a little I don't want it to go over the words Just a hint of the leaves. Yeah, this is it. That's my page. I hope you liked it. I hope you will have fun doing something similar. So thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.